We've got two deadly brawlers, a battle royale mode, and a revamp rank mode, numerous skins, and so much more to talk about. Welcome to the Brawl Talk Breakdown. Angelo is an epic brawler, and he seems to be a cupid mosquito who lives in the swampy love tunnel at Star Park. He's a gossip king and loves setting brawlers against each other. He will also be joining Willow in the Swamp of Love trio. Based on when the season ends, it seems like Angelo will be the first ever brawler with its pre-release on a leap date, as he's coming out on February 29th, which is exactly a week before the Dragon Pit season ends. Angelo is a sharpshooter and has quite the long range, and like a mosquito, he can hover over water. And he's the second brawler after Eve to be able to do this. His main attack has a quirk where it does damage the longer you hold on to it. It is similar to how Hank charges his attack, since he doesn't have a reload part, we don't know how fast he can unload his ammo, so you should wait for my Angelo sneak peek later. Safe to say that he won't do all that great against assassins, he won't have that burst damage. When Angelo uses his super, he conjures a little swamp around him and this damages enemies who walk over it. It also enhances Angelo's main attack as the arrows he shoots become poisonous and deal damage over time. It seems like you can't choose where you want to place your super though, at least according to the brawl talk. They also didn't mention anything about his healing, but it seems that he heals 10% per second if he is on his super, but likely this would be a star power instead. The swamp does subside, and while we don't know how long it lasts, I guess that it lasts about 10 seconds. Angelo also gets a 29 gem skin called Elf Angelo. Melody is a mythic brawler who will be released in late March. She's a popular karaoke singer at Star Park, and she is a K-pop stan. She's a bit bipolar, so you you have to gamble on her mood swings to have a great time. Described as an assassin, but you wouldn't really believe so with her main attack. This is the first time that we've had an assassin with a long range attack, and she does about 1040 damage per shot, which isn't that much. Every time she attacks, musical notes rotate around her, and a maximum of three can rotate around her at any given point. But here's the catch. These musical notes aren't just for show, as if you get up close and personal with her, those notes do 2080 damage per enemy that they hit and they don't seem to go away after doing that damage, but they do expire after some time. Now with that, to call her an assassin, you need some mobility, and her super does exactly that. When she activates it, you can get three insanely long dashes, which seem almost as long as Carl's gadget, and this allows her to rock and sock her enemies right in their faces. It's at that point that these musical notes do a ton of damage on enemies, and then she can even dash away if need be. You can't cycle her super though, so if you want to charge your super again, you have to use all those three dashes first. Melody will be getting the Sith Melody skin, which will be a part of the Norse mythology skins coming to Brawl Stars in April. I'll explain all that there is to know about Angelo and Melody with their gadgets and star powers and whatever treats that they might have in a future sneak peek video. So if you haven't already subscribed, do so for all that valuable information. And let me know, which one of these brawlers do you really want to play in Brawl Stars? In all the recent updates, we've had six hypercharges and this doesn't change with this one. Cordelius is the first brawler with a hypercharge and he slows down enemies in the Shadow Realm. Buzz's hypercharge seems a bit broken since he perpetually has his super while his hypercharge is active. And yes, that super stuns so he can perpetually be Spider-Man slinking from one brawler to the other, stunning them and taking the kills. El Primo is the next one, and when he lands, his area of effect is larger, but the brawlers fall toward him instead of away from him. For Belle's hypercharge, when she uses her super, it now homes in on her target, very much like Piper's gadget. When Sprout throws out its hedge, it now deals damage to enemies that get a bit too close to it. BB's hypercharge is a little funny. When she uses her bubble, it splits every time it hits an enemy, so I'm looking forward to trying it out in the training cave just to see how many I can get. Obviously, the hypercharge unleash event is back once more and like always you can only use the brawlers that have their newest hypercharges released in game there's a big difference though since this time it's on solo showdown and there seems to be a modifier that not only charges your super and hypercharge faster but there are also drops that instantly give your hypercharge as well you need to activate your hypercharge 20 times to finish this event and you'll get to unlock one random hypercharge from the hypercharges that you've yet to unlock 
The season in March will be called Sands of Time, and we get a ton of skins with this. Shelly Dancer is the Brawl Pass skin, and she has a lamp instead of a shotgun this time, sporting a Cerise dress with turquoise hair. The color variations are Shelly Dancer Iris with a turquoise dress and black hair and Shelly Dancer Dahlia with a lavender dress and platinum hair. Dynasty Mike is a dirty gemmer who throws gems at his enemies and has a huge chest that explodes as his super. Thief Edgar is going to be the skin that most of the content creators are going to be giving out, so make sure you guys check out my TikTok and Twitter to join those giveaways. His super envelops him in a torrent of sand as he leaps at his enemies. Sir Genie is, as the name suggests, a Genie Surge skin, and he reminds me of Thunderous from Pokemon. And finally, Desert Scorpion Chalk which is a legendary skin, and that means that it comes replete with pins, profile icons, sprays, custom voices, and a takedown animation. The season in April will be called Ragnarok, and it comes with so many Norse mythology skins. Fenrir Buzz is a Brawl Pass skin, and it comes with a dark blue skin color with gold chains and a golden hilt for his sword. The color variations are Elder Fenrir Buzz, which has a deep crimson color instead, and Skuga Fenrir Buzz, which is a midnight skin color, and he wears purple pants. Our favorite goofball has a skin, and that's going to be Loki Chester. And Loki? It's a fire skin. The privilege of being the one I got goes to Cordelius, who now shoots out bolts of lightning instead. Jesse is now a hunter with the Scotty Jesse skin, and Scrappy is now a little fox, which is so cute. Sif Melody is Melody's 29 gem skin. There isn't much to say about that. We also get Thor BB, which is a 299 gem skin, and the Goddess of Thunder comes with her own special pins, sprays, profile icon, and takedown effect. The Lion Friend skins are coming back. Fangirl Kony is the Colette version of Kony, and it is similar to Kony Max. Rocket Brown is the Brock version of Brown, and it is similar to L Brown. Balloon Sally is the Gus version of Sally, and there are two Sally skins in the game. Do you know what they are? We also got some Mecha skins in Brawl Stars, and Mecha Leon is going to be a 299 gem skin, so it gets the pin profile icon, custom voice line, and takedown animation. And there are two color variations with Shadow Mecha Leon and Radiant Mecha Leon, which are basically black and white color variations. In addition to this, we also get Mecha Colt, which is a Supercell Mace skin from PJ the Creator, and it comes with color variation. With Paragon Mecha Colt, the gold skin, and Renegade Mecha Colt, the purple one. There are also some other random skin like Pitcher Fang and its color variation. Squeaky Note is a 29 gen squeeze skin. Primo Shark, which is a baby shark ripoff? And finally, the best skin in the game, Poop Spike. I don't know what to say about this. This is just one of the funniest skins. It's Poop. What's not to love? Trophy Escape is a new solo battle royale mode that will be released with the Sands of Time season. The objective is to kill enemies and get as many trophies as possible before the timer ends. Unlike Showdown, killing a player doesn't make them drop power cubes. They drop trophies instead. You still get power cubes though, as this mode does have boxes on the map, but there might be trade-offs there. So they said that when a brawler dies, it drops the same number of trophies that it has over its head, but we don't know if that's exactly true or not because in one case there was this true trophy Jackie that dropped only two when dying, and in another there was this true trophy Janet which dropped four. There are these portals on the map, but they only activate after five players have been eliminated. And what these portals do is allow you to escape, so you can get out of the match with whatever trophies you have over your head. But these portals take time to work, and you have to actively remain on them to get out, or that timer resets. And portals are placed at the extremities of the map, so there isn't going to be any poison in the moat, so you don't have to worry about that. There is a catch though, if nobody is extracted before the timer runs out, everybody loses trophies, so I don't think we'll be getting too much of teaming in this game mode, but don't quote me on that. Ranked is a new mode that completely replaces Power League. It will be the same cycle as a Brawl Pass season and last 30 days, and the first season of Ranked starts with the Sands of Time season. This is a nice one. Only Brawlers Power 9 and above are allowed in Ranked. And from Bronze to Gold, the matches will be the same as Mega Pig, so it's going to be a best of one with no bans and only a blind pick phase along with the modifiers. From Diamond to Masters, it's the same old Power League format, except you retain these modifiers, which I'll get to in a second. To be able to play Diamond League, you need a minimum of 12 brawlers at power 9 to even upgrade to that point. So I'm sure a lot of the tryhard power league people are going to be super happy about that. There isn't a separate solo or team queue anymore and now matchmaking should be faster since everybody would join the same queue. But if you do end up playing solo and find a team in matchmaking, it will adapt so you will have random teammates that would make this more fair. What's amazing about rank mode is that you can see 
the amount of elo you lose or gain now, which wasn't the case in Power League, so you always know where you stand. And this might be a contentious point. Ranks get reset every season, but if you play the previous season, you'll get a boost to higher league than bronze. We're not exactly sure how much of a boost that is though. So I talked about the modifiers earlier and it's not going to be the Mega Pig one. So you're not going to have Ice Age, you're not going to have unlimited power. They have new ones here. Quickfire is one where when you hit a target, you automatically get back your ammo. Time Detonation is another one where the map progressively breaks up over time. Big Friend, and I think this one is probably going to be a mode which a lot of people don't like, but in this mode, all brawlers have their health equal to the highest HP brawler in that team. So just imagine like an 11.9k HP tick. Barbed Ammo is also going to be one of those modifiers that people don't really like, as any damage that you do to other enemies will add damage over time. So just imagine you have a gene just constantly sprinkling you with his damage in Knockout, and and there's nothing you can do about it. And the final modifier is sick beats, in which slows and stuns don't work. But you can still get poison, so it's not exactly like Poco's tuning fork. But they're capping the modifiers to 3 per season, so it isn't as overwhelming for players to get used to. So depending on the feedback from users on social media and the data from the in-game engagement, they will be making necessary changes, so make sure your criticism is constructive. And only after you've actually played the game modes. There's a new kind of star drop called Ranked Star Drop. You'll only get cosmetic rewards in Ranked Star Drop, and all the previous season rewards will be available here. If you already have all the cosmetics from previous seasons, you'll get bling instead. Previously exclusive skins will come back as recolors and will be available in the future in these star drops. There's also a new skin of the season that will be obtainable in ranked star drop at a higher drop rate. And if you find it, you get it for free without unlocking any purchase options. All skins that are added to ranked star drops will always be available from there now on. And these skins can only be obtained from the rank mode. You only get legendary star drop from ranking up, but that's only available from diamond rank onwards. Based on your rank status, your battle card will appear different, but you can choose to toggle that effect on or off. Every rank has three variations of this, and it has a custom animation that appears when you start a game. The ranks will be the same like it was with Power League, from Bronze all the way to Masters. The report feature has finally been revamped for the rank mode. So they've added a report button to the game, and depending on your rep, you can either keep playing or you'll have a timeout for bad behavior. But we don't know how long. You can report players for being a bad random, for griefing, or cheating. So that means those win traders might just get banned. But you can only report people 10 times a day. So make sure that your report counts and do it accurately. There are some other changes as well. Rank quests have been added to the game, so you have one more reason to play ranked. Some rank modifiers will now be in Mega Pig as well. Fame now has special cosmetics, and you get backgrounds for your battle card and animated player profiles and some pins. And finally, true gold and true silver skins are back, and I'll probably not get them, but I would click on this. 